What's up, everybody? I am Steve, and with me, as always, is... D. And you are watching Conversations with KBs, the only show on the internet that doesn't buffer when everybody else in the house is watching Netflix. And today, you guessed it. <laughs> totally. I hate it. Uh, that's why you need 300 meg. I don't know. And uh, you could guess it. We are talking about tech today. Um, just a little funny joke I'm sure everybody has had. Uh, when you trying to do something important on the internet, somebody be watching Netflix and your shit's buffering. It sucks. Yep. So why you need that Not high bandwidth? Days. Not these days, baby. Not these days. 200 meg, 300 meg. It's all good. Right. Fiber into home some places. Shit. Not today, baby. Not today. Uh, unless, you're out, unless you're out in the rural spots. <laughs> right. At a high speed. 5G, though. 5G. The new cells. It's coming. The new cells it's are going to be the hotness. It's going to be the hotness. That should be up to... Uh, isn't that a gigabit, or is that ten gig? I think it's I think no, it's a gigabit. I think, I think it's just a gigabit to home. I'm pretty sure. You know what? I got a I got an internet for that. There's a thing on the internet. I'll tell you. I got a I got an internet for that. But I got a I got a funny story I want to start with. Um, I learned how a privileged nerd I am. Uh, when my freaking I was at the gym. Okay, and my smartwatch went out and i use my smartwatch and it tracks my heart rate and does all the other fitbit bullshit right but um i 100 megabits a second tops out oh 5g tops out at 10 gigabytes a second 10 gigabytes a second 10 gigabytes a second you heard that right folks 10 gig theoretical that's 10 not gig. what we're gonna get right out of the obviously it's theoretical 10 gig and that's the max throughput yeah. per the band and we also in order to get it out to rural you're actually gonna have to have a like a box that's literally a cell phone like tower receiver it's a 5g yeah. band receiver that then hooks up coax into their special modem that then you can distribute out to your router or whatever such device you have uh, Verizon is doing it right now and they're trying it in several areas but back to the story so I learned how privileged I am right my Fitbit uh, you know was going and I didn't check how much battery I had I think I, I thought I had 15% or something but I listen to music while I work out and I do like an hour of workout so um, I need the music I gotta have it like I'm too I didn't used to do it uh, for like a probably a year and a half I never had music but oh man well they, they got it they got it in like you know in the places sometimes but uh fucking having your own oh my own jams my own like disturbed and fucking i get slipknot on there i got really good deftone shit i got like all the good shit all the heavy stuff that's just kicks your ass and it's great and then yeah. so i and then sauna okay so i sauna afterwards for like 15 20 minutes and sauna is not fun and it's really not fun when you don't have music and you're just sitting there. And you're just sitting there, <laughs> just like, waiting for head. time to go by. Dude, it was horrible. So I realized how privileged I am. And that I will never let my Fitbit uh, die while lost in, uh, uh, at the gym. I did, you, I, track, you, you lose a you track of everything. Your, your heart rate, your calories burned, your everything. Totally, yeah. Well, and it's also my timer for how long I've been in the sauna. Like, there's no clock in the sauna. They got one of those little sand dial bullshits that don't fucking work, but... <laughs> I need, I need, you know, I want to know I'm in it for 20 minutes. Um, so, yeah, it's just, uh, it, I put a joke on Facebook about it, actually. The first musings, the KB, uh, conversations with KB's musings was, was that. I, I akined a broken, uh, a broken Fitbit or a dead Fitbit to a 20-pound uh, water skin full of sand hiking through the desert because that's what it felt like like i felt like i was like i had this thing on my arm that weighs me down that is all sweaty now and it just is fucking useless i can't do anything fucking with it right, right. but you I had agree. a story too didn't you you had a story yeah. time story yeah so again not my story but i read an article on facebook uh yesterday and it was about a father and son who were going biking like up in the mountains and they both had apple watches apple phones they're big in Apple. Right. And um, the the father went, had went ahead on the trail and started biking, and he had maybe a, almost like a 10-minute head start on the sun. And at somewhere throughout the, the bike ride, he had, he had gone off the trail and fell down like a ravine and had significantly, like, impacted as he fell down the ravine. Right. And the Apple Watch was damaged. 
Cool, uh, right? That's of course it would be though. Yeah, well, he was he was pretty. He, if he's messed Apple up, Watch yeah. was those was are damaged. fragile. Those are big fragile. Uh, you know, screen was all shattered. They showed a picture of it in the article, and the watch actually sensed the impact and contacted emergency personnel. They were there within 30 minutes. They had his location based off of the GPS coordinates that the Apple Watch sent to the emergency. That's personnel. connected to his Apple phone. In order uh-huh. to get that GPS location, because the Apple yeah, Watch now, I don't know have... if he had one of the models like that had cell cell service built into it, or yeah, if it was one certainly that was possible. Just tethered right. sure. to his phone. Right. I don't know, but uh, it did that automatically without any interaction on his part. Dude, that's the good stuff. That's the good stuff. Then you can get into the bad stuff where they're listening to your conversations and oh, mar- yeah. marketing well, tactics to you. That is yeah, happening, of course. They're listening to every yeah, conversation. But they're, it's marketing tactics. I mean, they're, they say that they're only using it, and you have to know that there's no way in hell the government could ever... There's too many conversations going on too much. They have an algorithm that certainly vets everything that they want for suspect people that are on some blacklist or whatever. But, you know, it's... You shouldn't worry about your shit being... Yes, the government's looking at your shit, but they're looking at everybody's shit, which means there's too much shit to look at. So as long as you really don't do anything stupid or saying the wrong shit in the right, wrong fucking order, you're not going to be on their list. And chances are good. As long as you're not doing anything stupid in the first place, you fucking will get off the list if you accidentally get put on it. Um, But yeah, they're not, that's not a, I wouldn't worry too much about that, but I, I do worry about the marketing tactics of it and, and who's, who else is seeing my data? Who else is using my data? Who's Google selling my shit to? Who who is Apple selling my fucking conversations or my keywords or my my key likes or my my buzzwords that they decide? You know what? Who's who's doing that? That's the Big Brother right. scary thing to me. I'm right. Not... And when they start selling that, I mean, yeah, who's who's going to end up with that information? How are they going to use it to either further segregate us, further? you know, advertise to us for their politicize one side or the other of the, of the agenda, you know, like everything, 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 everything. Well, did you know on, on, uh, uh, fucking Facebook, you can, Facebook knows your political status. Like if Whether you, you've declared it or not. No, not even just by your, your, the algorithm knows based upon your posts and it will tell you if you look, it's under, I don't even honestly remember what it is. Uh, let me find it real quick. But uh, but yeah, let me go back to that. Uh, yeah, go finish keep going. Finish it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, not only did the watch contact the emergency personnel, got the the, the dad the help and and everything like that, but it had also sent a notification to his son, and his son said, you know, dad, hard impact detected, um, and it showed his location on the Apple Maps so he could get to him. So his son started biking there, and right. by, before he could even get to him on bike, the emergency personnel had already gotten to his location, scooped him up, and was on the way to the hospital. And the uh, I think his brother had called the son and said, "Hey, your dad's been involved in an accident. He's on his way to this hospital." And he was like, "Holy That's shit! This is all happened with this all happened within like a thirty minute time period." That's fucking amazing, dude. And I'm like, you know, I I gotta I gotta hand it. That is a one in a million scenario, where you know, that that is when the technology and the information that's being gathered and the usefulness of it truly comes out. And if it if everybody could have that security, I mean, that's fucking amazing. But you, the price you pay for that is all of your privacy, all of your personal information, everything. But that's, that's when we can be it. our best. Is it worth it? But that's when we can be our best. That's that, Those moments right there as nerds, as people who like tech, that's when we can be our best. We can save fucking lives. And that's isn't... I mean, there, to, to a certain extent, I feel like that's worth it. Now, in the other sense, I also am a realist and know that there's not... There's not enough people and not enough time. There just isn't for them to... to like to fucking vet everybody and listen to everybody's shit and you know what I mean and obviously I mean, obviously yeah. we're putting ourselves on fucking YouTube so who gives a fuck you know right. what I mean to a certain point right. about that you know it's it's interesting 
There is a way to do it. I can't fucking. This is a 2018 article, but there is because I've looked. But at I, it. I know it's, what you're talking about with that. I, I know it'll tell you if you like, lean fucking like liberal or fucking conservative and like how far right if you're like a like a massive if you're a libertarian what without you even fucking saying a word without you if doing anything just the what you like and shit. based on your likes your what you comment on what you share what you you know love what you hate that's scary social media is okay so the Honestly, social media scares me more than anything else. Facebook, and then the amount of knowledge Facebook has, um, and the amount of, and Twitter and Facebook, the amount of trolling that can happen, and the Russian bots, and all that, I mean, that shit's real. The fucking bots are real. It is, it's not, none of that shit's a joke, and all of it is designed to create a narrative, and, and hack certain systems and certain accounts to get certain information, and I worry about what Facebook has. I mean, that, Facebook has a lot of fucking information. I mean, think about the Facebook Messenger thing, where you sent me that fucking payment when we did had no fucking idea your account was even fucking linked there. Where Dude, did the money... I got the money, and we had no idea where it came from, and it went to my PayPal... Like, PayPal and Facebook linked like that without even us knowing, dude. You, your, your PayPal and Facebook linked without you acknowledging, accepting, or agreeing to anything, and my, my debit card was linked to my Facebook profile without me ever have made a fa making a Facebook purchase, buying an in-app purchase. It's on because it was connected to your Google phone. And Google, you agreed at some point in one of the fucking contracts that we just click yes to and don't fucking read any of it, you agreed at some or point. Updates. Right. You agreed at some point that Facebook, like, if as, as long as you're on your Google phone, your Google account, you're constantly signed in, essentially. So it's easy, easy access. You didn't need to verify anything. If you wouldn't have done that, normally you would have to put a pin. I'm sure there's a security setting somewhere where you have to put in a pin before any purchase via my Google account's made. And whatever was linked to your Google account, yeah. which in your case is the credit card, Facebook popped it and it's good like it's a fucking it's a rigmarole it's a it's an interesting way around a problem i'm not saying i dislike it i'm just saying that's fucking a lot of info right out the jump like it's a lot of info that just was easily accessed by a third party that you didn't expressly give consent to right. knowingly and how easy that could be for me to not fucking know that it's fucking happening how way easy it is for me to not know what's happening. And you gotta That's also scary. think too. You know how many websites are linked with Facebook where you can sign in to a website with your Facebook account? If Facebook gets hacked, we're all fucked. Everything. Right. Like our mortgage right. is probably gonna be fucked. You know what I mean? <laughs> like it's fucking linked to everything. Who fucking knows? Facebook's my new fucking entry into my home. Like they're gonna fucking Facebook's crazy. Well, Facebook wallet. Marketplace. We're selling <laughs> we're selling shit on Facebook Marketplace. It's gonna yeah. fucking rival eBay, dude. It's gonna fucking run. It already eBay. has. It already has. And it just That's what eBay started out was was a place to sell your junk that was basically a virtual fucking garage sale. At best an antique shop. Right. And I'm <laughs> fucking it's it's going cray. But we can talk about Big Brother and conspiracy theories on another episode. That was just a little Yeah, tease. that's a whole different topic. It's a whole other topic, and I don't really want to go on that tangent right now, because we could yeah. talk about that for a half hour. Let's bump on this build. So I'm thinking about making a streaming PC. So we could maybe do some conversation with KB's gaming, a little bit of you know where we do some do some gameplay shit. And if I <clears throat> if we get into that, I need I need a new rig. And I'm thinking of the third generation Ryzen's. More importantly, a separate rig. Separate than what I have, of course. My rig is dope. My rig is a fucking uh, Threadripper. Um, it's good for video editing. Good for everything. I got 32 gigs of RAM. It's uh, an NVM SSD in here. Like it's it's a good rig, nice. but but I need. I need a second one. And I don't need anything badass. I need thing, something that will compute well. But I don't know if the Ryzen 3s, the third generation Ryzen 3s are out yet. And I, that's the question. Because third generation Ryzen 3s on the new nanometer tech. Uh, right? You heard about that? The new architecture? Yeah, the 7 nanometer rather than wow. the 14. Yeah, like rather than 12. So it's on seven nan nanometer than twelve. So the heat's like the power consumption's way less. It it can bump the clock speeds up because the thermal load isn't there. That kind of shit. Um, it's also what was the hotness about it? There was something else that was the hotness about it, and I don't remember. I think it bumps up the L three cache as well on them. Um, 
But there isn't a Ryzen 3. I'd have to get a Ryzen 5. And I mean, I just think almost that's too much power for what I'm looking for. But, I mean, it would house... It would house Broadcaster, XSplit Broadcaster. It would house our conversation on Discord. It would house another mic. It would house the input from my game, whatever game we're playing, from this computer to it. I would still do video editing probably on this rig. But, um, yeah, it's interesting. It's an interesting rig. But you're building one, aren't you? Uh, yeah, I got one coming up for my boss. I'm going to be building one here soon. He started out just wanting like a real mediocre kind of vanilla PC that would just play some games here and there. And I'm like, okay, well, I can do that. You know, probably about six, 600 bucks. Sure. Yeah, five, six, and, uh, somewhere in that ballpark. You know, I was like, what about if you wanted to step it up a little bit? Because he was really interested in the thought of being able to do VR gaming in the future. Oh, yeah. So like HTC we Vibe and stuff, that kind of shit? Yeah. Yeah, or the Oculus Rift or whatever the new one they got coming out is. Um, we played with a set of that out at the escape room. They also have a separate game room off to the side. They have, they have a, a VR escape VR room? Arena. No, no, no. Not a oh, VR it's like a fucking first-person shooter on arena? One side, and then a VR arena where they've got all the Steam VR games available for you to play. Oh, that's fucking cool. So, like, the zombie games, the, the fighting games, the... Uh, just a bunch of crazy games. There's a Star Wars game. There's there's a bunch of, them. and they're dope. Like that Star Wars lightsaber game looks really cool. No, I don't know about VR, bro. Though I don't know, is it ever going to go mainstream? Because the tech isn't small enough yet. Like right, I feel like they wireless. haven't figured it the fuck out. You know what I mean? They're still, all this shit's still in alpha. You know what I mean? I think the power requirements are so heavy on all this wireless equipment that it's hard to make. Oh, we lost him, folks. Hold on. Hold on. We're going to pause real quick and take a just a quick sec. Be right back. All right, guys. We are back. Okay. D got back from his technical absence. I'm back. All right, cool. So we was just in the middle. We were talking about VR. Do it a bit. We were talking about VR. We were talking about building new computers, and I think my computer got fucking jealous and shut down. <laughs> Oh. Um, anyways, we were on the VR topic though, talking about the size of the equipment and the battery life and things like that, and just how it's not quite there yet. So I'm with you on how it's not. It it's seems not like it's in alpha. Be. It just that's what it seems like to me. Like we're in still in alpha stage for this shit, right? And yeah, I mean, I just I think battery size, battery capacity, and lifespan, as well as. The wireless technology, I just don't think we figured it out to refine it down to like we have with cell phones to where we have a goddamn supercomputer in our pocket all right. the time. I think you we know? need the next like Bluetooth technology or the next uh, NFC technology or something like that to be where in the 10 gigabits per second bandwidth range like 5G is. So if we can like take 5G, tweak it over and then use some of that protocol for the Bluetooth. I know we're on five uh, five point oh Bluetooth, but like you know, Bluetooth X or something. Fucking, I don't right. know what the fuck you call it, but make it something totally different or the next NFC. Because I like NFC. I think NFC is a good thing, especially because it's it's low <clears throat> because it's NFC. It's it's low, um, and especially in toy devices, it's low risk, so you don't have to have a bunch of security tech built into it, and. Um, it is high high throughput um, with that low the, the low security uh, risk, but I mean we everybody has to think okay when we're talking about VR it's been we've done VR since the 3D fucking glasses okay we've thought about 3D for a long fucking time, mm -hmm. but ultimately it comes down to the fact that we're trying to put a fucking badass computer monitor on our face and project two things into two eyes simultaneously with and no still make it difference. Feel cohesive. Right, and with no difference in hertz rating between either. I'm talking microhertz at this point, because you get a headache if you don't. Like, it, it's a fucking tough nut to crack. But I think with the amount of money we have in this motherfucker... Okay, so who's in it? Throw me down on who's in it. Steam's in it, right? Steam's big in it. With the Oculus, right? Don't they have Oculus? Well, you, they can use both. They can use anything, but I thought Steam was part of... They had their nuts in Oculus. 
Well, it's the it, the two big ones that everybody talks about is the HTC and the Oculus. Right, HTC Vive, yeah. Yep, the Vive, and then the uh, the Oculus Rift, and then they got the Oculus the new one that just I think just came out very recently. Uh, I can't remember the, what they called it, but it is. I will say we used, I believe it was the Oculus Rift set sure. at the escape room. And I would and say, from my understanding, it that's probably like the best. People may say HTC right Vive, yeah, right, right. Yeah. The newest version of Oculus. Yeah, the uh, the experience was awesome. I mean, for VR, you know, I've tried some of the other stuff. You know, we had the Virtual Boy back in the day. Straight. Let me throw this. Facebook. Facebook is the parent company for Oculus Rift. Coming no back way. to what we were talking about. No, Facebook. Facebook that's is the going to be the Walmart of our lives. <laughs> right. But Virtual like, Boy. I have. I knew a dude who had a Virtual Boy. Yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't have one. I got to play one. Like, we was poor as shit. Twice. We didn't have no. We didn't have that no. shit. But we had homies who had one. Right. Or somebody who knew somebody who had one. And we right. Like, we we checked it out because we was nerds and we wanted to check that shit out. Like that's sure. what we wanted. Sure. But uh, you had that, and then you had like the 3ds, which is cool tech, zero glasses, 3D on your thing. We've had yeah. some. Glasses 3D, that's kind of where we're at for the home home environment, is Glasses 3D. But VR has never really been a thing, like, right. in the sense that we have it now. Right. The way, the way we have it right now, I think, is, like, the first generation of what it will ultimately become. But it's going to be way more refined once, like, it becomes mainstream. HTC and Valve are in bed. That's, so Steam and HTC are the HTC Vive is Steam's baby. So Facebook owns one. And Facebook's trying to get in the gaming scene, too. So I think the Oculus, they're trying to get Oculus hammered out, and then they're going to fucking open up their own, like, Steam store. Because EA did it. Yeah. They did it. Borderlands 3 is on it right now, and that's the hottest selling game for fucking a month and a half, two months, or however long it's been out. Seven weeks? Seven days? I don't know what the fuck it was. I it's hot. It's the last time we looked at it, it was still on pre-order. All right. Maybe it was seven days. I read, a, I read an article about it. It was uh, Borderlands 3, though, is hot right now. Yeah, once it takes a price drop or two, we'll, we'll probably pick it up. That it may be, be uh, one of the first games. games on a budget. That may be uh, the first, one of the first games we fucking play is uh, Conversation KB's Gaming. Some Borderlands 3 action. Be good but anyway, so uh, video. tangent. We went down way tangent. Way tangent yeah, on VR. Tangent. So, so VR tangent. Pfft, me. All right, back to uh, the you're building a PC. Yeah. He wants so to do. Patrick boss, wants to do VR. He wants the option to do VR if if he decides to. I said, all right, cool. Well, I can definitely build you something that you know not only will serve every function that you could possibly want it to that you would expect a computer to do, but as well as the, v, the you know, good gaming, VR gaming, and that kind of stuff. Sure. Because, I mean, so, it needs... So, let's take a step back, too, back to the VR thing. It is a screen on your face, yes, but there isn't a processing unit. I mean, there is processing within the thing, but you still need a computer to run said game uh, to use it. Right. And, and, and I, you I, need a decent hear, computer. The, from what I hear, it's 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 still very graphics processing heavy. Fuck yeah. yeah. But it's in a different way. It's not standard, you know, just screen processing on a on a resolution that it's it's native and custom to it's it's i don't know how it works i don't understand how the vr actually works but i know it's not a normal resolution it needs those processing units like those cuda cores or the 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 whatever the threads yeah it needs those it uses those to process right and and it needs memory too because it has to buffer that all that data over so it needs heavy memory um, so you need like an eight gig card. To yeah, I really think that's one of the minimum requirements is an eight, is gig, an eight card. gig card. Yeah, yeah. or uh, doing cross by uh, like uh, you know doing doing crossfire or um, the uh, what's the fucking Nvidia's? Um, what's oh, the bridging Nvidia? the cards together. Piece? Yeah, um, what is that uh, called? Crossfire. SLI. There you go. SLI. SLI. There you yeah. go. 
it's been so yeah, long. I yeah, so anyway, I haven't yeah, used no, NVIDIA I don't, in so long. I don't care about NVIDIA. NVIDIA. Everybody loves fucking NVIDIA, and we're going to get so much hate for that shit. If people, if tech people watch this shit, we're going to get hate for that. They're, you're either an ATI oh, yeah. person or you're a fucking GeForce person, NVIDIA person, and I'm okay. sorry. And it just uh, so happened that AMD bought out ATI a long ago. And it ago, made and my decision both. easy. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. And guess I who's got, got the best fucking now. processor? Mm. I got one flag now. Right. It seems like everybody who's in NVIDIA likes Intel, too. And I'm like, no. Yeah, always, always. It's never an AMD processor no. versus with, with, coupled with an NVIDIA card. Right, never. it's so weird. So weird. Never. I like to save money, y'all. And, yeah, pound for pound, AMD and ATI knock it out the fucking park every time. My games look good. Always I don't style. I don't need to bump shit up to, like, I don't, I don't play in 4K. I don't need to play in 4K. I need to play in solid 120 or or active syncing um, 1080p. Like, I need to... Yeah, that's how you game. That's how you should game. Right. And I then until, rate, 4K, until 4K monitors become a little bit more reasonable and more mainstream. And, and the better. More, they're not... And better. They're, they're not... They're, they don't... They're not really that great for gaming. They're good for watching video. They're great for watching videos. I mean, watch your movies all day. So that's why I got a 4K TV upstairs. Like, you know, I don't... I don't need to monitor that. But anyway, whatever. Um, I'm done pissing people off. Yeah. Uh, but so, so what, we're, you're, what we're working with on yeah, this yeah, is yeah. a um, we're doing a. Let me get my motherboard pulled up here. I'm doing pretty pretty standard uh, motherboard. It's the it's the Fatality series AS Rock. Um, How much is that one? That one's 142 dollars. Oh fuck! Okay, I can't beat that. It's it's a good price. Yeah, the Asus Prime is really good. The Prime, the the X thirty nine three ninety X three nine nine is a good one. And then that's gonna be rocking the Ryzen seven eight core, three point seven gig processor, the twenty seven hundred, which is on a good deal right now. Twenty seven. Uh, yep, twenty seven hundred. Yeah. Yeah, the 3700 is the new, that's third generation. So you're rocking the second gen, which is a 12 nanometer, which is perfect fine. It is perfect fine. It's yeah, going to kick For him, ass. it's going to be it's way, gonna kick way ass. good. Way good. It's going to be totally um, kick ass. Got a 700 watt power supply. Cool. 80 plus bronze. Sure. Got uh, 32 gigs of. Isn't it nice not having to worry about power supplies anymore? Yeah, power you supplies. Just, are it's good. Just, you know, they all are good. It, you know which ones suck, and you know if which you ones not to get. But as long as you get more than 500 watts and you get a reputable brand and it's got modular plugs and it's, it's got good to go, you need, it's good. It's a fucking money in the bank. You don't ever have to worry about power supplies anymore. I love those. It's just so nice not to have to worry about that anymore. So yeah. like that's not a point of failure anymore, really. No, but I mean it can happen, but it's it's so much rarer. Sure, I mean generally, but you'll know you'll know though because it's generally from a power outage or something like that, or the fucking motherfucker just won't turn on. And generally, you remember the days of you remember the days of 150 watt power supplies and <laughs> 200 watt power supplies pulling out pulling them out of those old Dells and shit. Yeah, and you remember the Bigfoots, the Seagate Bigfoot. Oh my god, I forgot about that. Three gigabyte hard drive. It was massive. It was giant. It was a five and a quarter inch hard drive that wow. fit that rather than a three. I totally forgot about that. Yeah. Anyway, okay. I, so what's the rest of the build? Let's go. We can retro so, that. We'll do a retro fucking uh, tech episode later. Oh yeah, we'll we can show how nerdy long, we are. Long on that. Um. So we got the thirty-two gigs of G Skills Trident series nice. RAM. Good RAM. Uh, Decent RAM. Perfectly yeah, fine. DDR4, doing the uh, the M- NVM hard drive, the SSD, uh, one terabyte. Nice. Um, Those are good, dude. Those are good. Doing an RX uh, Radeon RX 590 with eight gigs of RAM, PCI Express mm. card. And 590 is not bad. Yeah, I mean it's not you know it's definitely not the top of the line card right now, but it's it's the it's, really it's above it's above the minimum requirements for the VR builds I've been yeah. looking at. Yeah. Way above. Yeah, so it's cool. good to go. Yeah, it's that's a that's a two year card, easily a two year card. I, I I gave him a two to three. I said it will run the games at medium high to high settings from here till about two to three years from now. Right. Yeah. And uh, and then he's got a twenty seven inch, um, one hundred forty four hertz edgeless monitor, free sync. Oh, he uh, needed a monitor. Okay, cool. He doesn't yeah. have a monitor. Okay. So well, I how much? Sure twenty seven. Twenty seven inch. Yeah, that's money. 
He's only so single. Those, just single for now. I told him if he wants to double up, it should be available still. You can get another one. Yeah. Sure. Uh, and it's a decent price. I mean, 27 inch, 144 hertz. Precinct, Endless right? For 100. Precinct. Yeah. yeah precinct so it's capable, money in the bank. 173 bucks. Damn. That'll work. Oh. Like, yeah, I'm not gonna go that kitted. I just need I need an NVM. I'm gonna get probably a 500 gigabyte because what I'll do is I'll throw everything off onto the server. Um, for for that kind of you know, offloading all the recordings and yeah the yeah we'll record them all and, and then just shoot them shoot them all off to the the server. The games on there is gonna be on this. It won't be on that. That's strictly for recording. Strictly for gotcha. recording. Gotcha. Um. So I just need an NVM. I'm probably going to use the fucking graphics card in the motherfucker. Because I don't need any... I don't need a graphics card. I'm not going to play any games on it. I need computation. So I think Heavy I at least need... I need a... I'm going to get a 4 core, I think. Heavy computation, heavy RAM. Yeah, um, I want to get like 16 gig. I think is what I'm thinking. But I kind of want to do the 7 nanometer just because of that speed. Just because of the L3 cache boosting... I won't, won't have to worry about buffering. It's just, it's, I don't, I don't know. It's a tough call. But dude, oh, I you're getting in the 2700X, the Ryzen 7. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's not, dude, that's a fine fucking card. Yeah, that's a good processor. I mean, it is the 100 right, watt, yeah, the processor. 105 watt series, not but um, I, I'm, again, I'm not looking for uber performance for him. I'm just wanting good yeah. performance. I can get 200. How much was that? One ninety nine, which is a fucking great deal. Yeah, that is a good deal. Like Newegg has got some good stuff going on right now. I would, I would, you know what I'd do though? I would probably get him the thirty six hundred, the Ryzen five. He doesn't the need. Core? Yeah, he doesn't need the other cores. The other cores aren't aren't worthy of the games. He doesn't do heavy video editing or anything like that. Um, that six core is it's the seven nanometer versus the twelve, right? So he's getting a speedier, uh, speedier, less buffering processor. It'll be less latency for him. Um, they didn't change socket on that. They didn't change socket. Same socket. Yeah. You have to get uh, what's that motherboard? It's the uh, it's the uh, fatality. Yeah, the AS Rock fatality. Let me check it real quick. Uh, which one? The X four seventy. The a yeah. B or uh, A D three fifty. Back up the train. A B three fifty. Don't get that one. Get the X four seventy. It's a better socket. Um. One fifty nine. It's like ten bucks more, but it's worth it because it supports the thirty series processors. It'll oh, have this one to. Does not. Huh. Does, does, the, does the AB350 not? Right, exactly. Right. It's a lower sock, it's a lower chipset. It may, but it's but this one's better for gaming. Yeah, this one's better for gaming. This one's more for, like, uh, office budgeting. I mean, you can do, obviously you can do shit on it, but... And it's a 7, it's an A-series fucking for... Yeah, it's the K4, yeah, 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 you don't want this one. It's for APs and shit, you don't want that. It's a micro eight tape board too, isn't it? No, it's ATM. Yeah, I would, I would, the X four, the X four seventy is where you need to go. Get that one. The X four seventy. Mm-hmm. It shows me one hundred and thirty nine for that one. Bitchin, I love it. After thirty dollar rebate, yeah, yeah, for sure. That's the way I'd go. It's that's dope. That's a good one. And then, oh, you can go fucking. That's a little baby guy. You want the K four. And that should come flashed with the latest, uh, the latest flash. Um, for him, but you can you can make it work. So yeah, that's that's exactly what I do. Oh, here we go. You're talking about the X470 gaming K4. Yeah. Gotcha. That's the way I'd go. I'd get on that motherboard. And then uh, get him the five series because he doesn't need the cores. The cores are for like 
video editing computing. I mean, some games do. The VR wouldn't be, like, it's certainly not going to hurt with the VR, but six cores is just fine, and it's a faster processor, which is what you need for what he wants to do. If it's a strictly gaming and VR rig, yeah. That's the way I'd go. Yeah, the X470 is good to me. Fucking shit. Yeah, you're good. That's the way I'd go. 159 $30 Maryland rebate. Sweet. I'll done definitely get that going. But yeah, that's the that's the build. So all in all, we're looking at about <clears throat> twelve hundred bucks. Yeah, twelve hundred. You can get a good gaming rig for a G the G the thirteen fifty something like that. Yeah. And I'm, I told him like two to three years, you'll be solid on all the games that come out. And I said for five years, this thing will be still relevant. Yeah, I mean, you could definitely upgrade it as well. They're not going to get rid of AM four for a minute. I don't think. I think it's going to stick around for sure. But uh, you got any other tech-related items? Oh, there's all kinds. But I think that's a good place to stop it for to episode three. Cool. Yep. Sorry about the uh, the drop there. Like I said, computer got jealous and uh, decided it was going to sleep on me. Oh, no worries. It was a seamless transition. We'll be all right. I'll edit it in post as it is. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. All right, everybody. Will you all uh, have a good week? We'll see you next week, uh, and that's episode three in the books, bitches. Later.